Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, X dot E dot L dot O. And today, what I want to do is actually show you guys how to actually do a portable install of Reaper on a flash drive. Yes, so Reaper is portable enough to actually run directly from a flash drive and you plug it into your PC or your Mac or your Linux computer and you'll be able to run Reaper like it's on the regular PC. And I think it's probably the only doll that I know that kind of does that. So there's that. That's how small of a footprint that Reaper actually has on a system. And with that, I'll show you how to actually do your Rea pack and get the SWS extensions inside of Reaper. And I'll show you how to actually install my 2025 Reaper configuration file. And it's available at xeloh.com. There should be a link below in the description to actually get that configuration file as well. And you'll have your Reaper looking just like mine. So let's get started. Let me show you where to go. Let me show you what to do. Let's go. All right, to start it off, you would need a drive, a flash drive. It'll work on a uh, external hard drive. It'll work on your computer. If you want to actually put it into a folder on your computer, you could do that as well. Right now I'm actually using a Lexmark flash drive and I'm gonna be using that to actually install Reaper. All right, so here we are on the reaper.fm site. Um, basically all you have to do is go to where it says download Reaper click on that and it's going to take you to the latest version of Reaper and you have to choose whichever one you're on if you're on Mac or if you're on Linux or if you're on Windows. I'm on Windows so I'm just going to hit on this download option here and this is Reaper version 7.42 and as you see it is only 15 megabytes big. All right so once you actually have that downloaded the next thing I would say is go up here to where it says resources click on resources and we're going to go to where it says Rea pack package manager. Let's click on that and it'll take you to the real pack manager page. So this is what it actually looks like. So these are simple instructions of how to actually install it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So don't worry about that. So I am using windows and I am on uh, 64 bit. So make sure you're choosing the correct one. Otherwise it will not work. So I'm going to make sure I'm clicking on this windows X 64 bit and it gives you an option if you want to donate. Um, I'm just going to click on no thanks right now. I'm just going to download it. And as you can see, it's going to download, but it's going to give me an error. So I'm going to go and download the file anyway, right? So basically that file will actually download and I'll have the Rea pack and I'll also have SWS with this one file swoop, All right? So I'm gonna close this down. All right. And if you actually want to get it from my website, here's my website, xeloh.com. You can just scroll down here and it should be this right here, the Reaper 2025 setup. Uh, it is something you have to purchase, but uh, it gives you all the configurations of what I actually have right now inside of my Reaper, right? All right, so here is my download folder. I'm gonna actually click on this uh, Reaper 4.2. All right, and you'll get this uh, license agreement. Just hit agree. And right here is where you wanna change it to from going onto your computer to portable. So you click on portable install. Let's click on browse. And I'm using this Lexmark flash drive. As you see, I have a couple of other Reaper configurations on here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to this Lexmark here, click on this, and I'm gonna click where it says make new folder. So I'm gonna make a brand new folder and I'm gonna name this all right, so I'm gonna name it YouTube Reaper Portable, right? So that way I can be able to find it. So here it is right here, and I'm gonna click on OK. All right, so once you click OK, as you can see, it says YouTube Reaper Portable. So this is gonna be where all the stuff is actually gonna load. Hit Next, and then I'm gonna hit Install. All right. So that may take some time on your end. I'll just kind of fast forward it through it so you guys didn't have to sit through that torturousness. <laughs> but um, yeah, so then once you hit uh, complete, you can hit close. Uh, so let's actually do that. I'm gonna run it for the first time. All right, and usually when it's done, uh, I know it'll take a long time. Don't, if you have a lot of plugins, it will take a long time for it to actually load. That first scan for Reaper takes a very long time, but it is very thorough, so that's why it takes so long. But then you'll come with this screen, and it'll say, uh, you have not set up your audio, so hit yes, and just set up your audio device to whatever you have. I'm gonna use ASIO, 
and I'm going to put this on the FL Studio audio. All right, just hit OK, and then you'll see the uh, infamous Buy Me screen. Um, so I'll hit Still Evaluating, seeing that it's brand new. All right, and here we are in Reaper. So I have it on the full screen. Uh, as you can see up here, I do not have the option for extensions and um, there's no configuration file. So this is exactly how you will get yours right out of the box and how it should actually look when you download Reaper for the first time. All right. So what you will want to do to get the Rea pack is to go to your options and you want to scroll down to where it says show Reaper resource path in Explorer or Finder, All right? So this will bring up this will bring up my flash drive in YouTube Reaper Portable, where we actually have all the stuff. So if you have actually gone to my website, xeloh.com, and you've downloaded the 2025 configuration file, I'm going to show you how to actually install it on here. I'm going to show you how to actually do the Rea pack as well and get all that set up, all right? And I'll also show you for those people who are on Cakewalk, how to actually get the CWP files to open up inside of Reaper as well, all in this one shot. If you download the configuration file from the website, it'll have all that in there. All right. So first thing we want to do is make sure we have the download file open. So here's the download file. And here is the Reaper portable, all right? So here is the Rea pack. This is what we need is DLL file. So what you want to do is always go to the user plugins. This is the user plugins. It's the easiest place to find all the stuff that you need. So I'm just going to grab this and drag it over this DLL file into to uh, my portable, right? So now we have the Rea pack in there. And if you actually downloaded my configuration file, so here is my configuration zip. I'll open that up. So, um, in here, you'll see this is the instructions. So it's in a text format. You can do the instructions. You have uh, a short video. I'll show you how to actually uh, do all this same thing in there as well. And here is the configuration file. So you would have the configuration file that we're going to use later on in this video. And here up here is the RIA CWP file. So you double click on there. I'm on Windows 64 and I can just grab this and drop it into my users plugins for Reaper. So now I have my CWP file to open up cakewalk files inside of Reaper and I have my Rea pack set up inside of Reaper. And then that's pretty much all you need. And the next step is going to take some time, but I'm going to show you exactly what to do. All right. So we're going to close out of Reaper itself. So Reaper is now closed. So I'm going to go back and close. I'm going to minimize this uh, downloads and we're just in the user plugins now, right? So we're going to go back up to the U YouTube Reaper portable, click on that. And you see this ex Reaper execution file. So we're going to click on this and it's going to reopen up Reaper. All right. So when you open up Reaper, you'll actually get this in here. Now this manage repositories, it'll pop up automatically. And as you see up here now you have extensions. So this is how you would actually load up your extensions inside of Reaper. I'm going to make this super easy. I'm going to go to uh, browse project, browse packages It's going to browse all the packages that are actually inside of this Rea pack. And then I'm going to hit select all. So I'm just going to select all of them because this is basically just the Rea pack It's going to download your SWS and all the other functions and things that you would need in order to actually get Reaper to work correctly. Then basically you just go to actions and I'm going to go to install and update. And it's going to ask you if you wanted to do it automatically in the future, I'm just going to hit yes for now. And I'm going to hit apply and it's going to start installing all of those files. And this will take some time. Do not get it twisted. This is going to take some time. Um, the initial install of Reaper for anything that you're actually doing does take time to actually install and get everything going, but it's definitely worth it at the end. It'll just take some time. So let's let that process. I'll probably fast forward through this so we can get through it a lot faster. All right. So once that portable install is done, you actually get uh, like a transaction report and it's going to say one or more of the things needs to be installed still. So basically what you have to do is restart Reaper and then I'm just going to hit okay on here 
and these are all the things that it actually installed from the rear pack all by itself uh, so if you want to go through those that's fine but there's a lot of really cool tools that they've actually added in scripts that'll work inside a reaper to make it function a lot better so i'm gonna hit okay on here i'm gonna hit okay on here so i'm gonna hit okay on here i'm gonna close out of reaper and this is still the flash drive this is the U2 Reaper Portable, and let's open it up again. All right, so this is for your language, so it's gonna ask you to choose a language because of the SWS stuff. I'm just gonna click on Load Always for English as a default. All right, and Reaper is opening up. And here we are in Reaper. So this is how you will actually have your Reaper after you do this portable install. So this is kind of where the portable install uh, with Axie in and as you go up to extensions now you see you have your SWS stuff and you can do like your color coding and all the other stuff uh, cool tools that you get with SWS extensions and you also have your rear packs up here and if you want to add new rear packs it's pretty simple to actually do that you just hit import and then you'll put the repository name in here and you'll be able to actually download it inside of Reaper. So really, really cool stuff. So what I wanna show you is the configuration file. So if you haven't already, definitely check it out. It's at xeloh.com and it's my 2025 Reaper configuration file. So it'll give you the piano roll, how I have mine set up. It'll show you uh, some of the keys that I've actually used inside there. Uh, all that is inside the information packet for it. So let's get started on it. So I'm gonna go to options. I'm gonna go to preferences, right? And once you're in preferences, you wanna scroll all the way up to the top to where it says general. And what you wanna do is export your current configuration. If you feel that you will go back or you already have been using Reaper for a while and you like the way your stuff is set up, this is a way to back up your stuff. So you hit on uh, export configuration and basically you just ch check all these boxes all the way down the line, right? And basically you're gonna save it. So basically it's gonna save the configuration of the default Reaper. Once you hit on save, it'll bring you into the YouTube Reaper portable. And here is your configuration folder that I just created. Seeing that there's nothing in there. That's this name is default or name it whatever you want to. So I'm just gonna name it default and I'm gonna hit save. And what this is gonna do is actually back up all the stuff that is currently as a default inside of Reaper. So once you pull in the configuration file from the website from the XEL 2025 Reaper configuration file, you'll be able to go back if you need to, or if you ever want to, uh, so you'll have a backup of it. All right, and there's not that many things in here, so it shouldn't take that long, and I'm just gonna hit okay on there. So now what I wanna do is pull in or import the one that I have from my website. I'm gonna click on this, import, and we're gonna drag and drop it into the portable. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it into the flash drive. So here you have it, the Reaper configuration 2025 inside there. And what I'm gonna do is just hit open and it's gonna actually open up all those files. And it's gonna take some time once again, first time when you're actually setting these things up, it will take some time. So let's go. It's gonna give you a warning about configuration files. Just hit okay. All right. And here are the things that are in there. So it's gonna give you the configuration. It's gonna give you the theme. Uh, some effect channels, the JS effects in there. So all these things will actually be loaded with this configuration file. You just hit import. All right. And once it's complete, it should reopen up Reaper. And now you'll have my 2025 Reaper configuration file set up on here. Really, really cool. So um, you'll see the evaluation and the by me. So still evaluating and as you can see, um, if you've watched my videos over the years, this is how my configuration currently looks right now for my regular Reaper. And this is still from the portable, right? So I still have <clears throat> a compressor, a reverb, delay, and chorus down here for you guys to use. Um, I also have the option to add this instrument. So here is an instrument that automatically pops up just by clicking on this right here. Um, I showed you in the last video all these things that I've actually added over the years. And if you really want to go through this and do this yourself, you can actually do it going through all my videos and showing you all the little things that I've added to my Reaper through the years. 
Uh, that's why I made this configuration file to help you guys out, make it a lot easier and faster to uh, get these configurations and set your Reaper up this way as well. All right, so that's pretty much the end of this video. I'm gonna, I showed you guys how to actually get the portable, how to install it, how to actually put in the Rea pack and the SWS files inside there. And if you do want to, like I said, you can go to my site, xelohh.com or below in the description of this video and download my 2025 Reaper configuration file so you can get your setup exactly like mine. If that's something that you guys wanna do, it is below. All right, and with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for everybody who has liked and subscribed to the channel. We are on our road to 10K subscribers on this channel as well. So I wanna thank everybody for tuning in and hitting that like, hitting that subscribe and sharing these videos with other people. All right, but once again, it's your boy, x.e. L dot O. See you next time on Learning Reaper. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.